Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video where today I came up with five different mistakes that every new Bee Swarmer or even mid-game Bee Swarmer can possibly make and these are the worst mistakes that I can think of. So I guess this video is kind of like a, a heads up and a warning to uh, whatever up ahead on the road of Bee Swarm traveling there is. Um, this is kind of like a video telling you what not to do before you do it. So, the first thing that Bee Swarmers do, and this is a huge issue that new Bee Swarm players do. This is the most simple mistake later in the game, you'll understand why, but that is using these special things called diamond eggs, which I don't believe I have any. But if you use diamond eggs before you craft something called the diamond mask, like, okay, here, let me show you the diamond mask real quick. It's right up here inside this little cave. So this right here, this glorious mask is called the diamond mask, and this is a good end game mask that you might want later in the game. This is, it costs five diamond eggs. You can see why it's a mistake now to use a gold, uh, to, I nearly said gold, but I meant diamond egg. Now you can see why it's a bad idea to use a diamond egg uh, before you craft the diamond mask, because it is actually extremely hard to get diamond eggs and i know crazy but it is actually incredibly hard and i learned that the hard way because i used my diamond egg from black bear at the beginning and that was a huge waste by the way don't use your black bear diamond egg because if you save it for later you can use it to craft the uh, the diamond mask so it's very handy to keep this saved also there is a little hidden diamond egg up here in the 30 uh the 30 b zone right underneath this platform right here see that giant black dancing shadow bear right here where is he uh there he is you can't really see him but there's a diamond egg right uh where is it? here's the diamond egg right here you can actually get this i made a video on how to get all these secret items in bee swarm simulator so if you want to watch that you can click right up here but yeah do not use your diamond eggs before you craft the diamond mask it is a terrible idea honestly i think that would be one of the i think that is the worst mistake any bee swarmer could make apart from this next one and this next one is a really 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 weird one that apparently people are doing and i've noticed that for quite a while and it is people are picking colors specific hive colors before they get ssa now this can be an issue for a number of reasons so ssa if you don't want to know what that is it is the supreme star amulet and it is right up here you need 40 gifted b types to unlock it so you just roll one there you go there's a gummy star passive ability why it's an issue to do it before you get this is because specific hive colors are meant to be paired with a specific passive like blue hives are meant to have the pop star passive ability red hives are meant to have scorching saw and then for white hives which is what i am i need a double passive star saw and gummy star or you could call it gummy saw scorching star and star saw is scorch saw by the way so like people have their hives right they're mid-game players and they have their hives all set up to be a specific color but then i ask them if they have ssa right and so they tell me no and then i'm like a little confused on that but i think they're a little confused because they don't know that you need it so just a heads up to you people you do need the ssa otherwise the hive will not be as effective because i've had people um ask me a lot of questions on how can they improve their blue hive and they don't have pop star but you can't really improve it until you get pop star so it's kind of like a, a quick warning don't switch to a specific hive color before you get ssa you need ssa like it is an absolute must and if you don't have ssa don't switch hive colors until after you do it's best to stay mixed hive which mixed hive is you have every single gifted bee type and then you just keep that until you get ssa and then you can go to a specific hive color if you're already in the hole of getting a specific hive color before ssa i suggest you just keep grinding and trying your best to get out of that hole it's like debt pretty much well not that bad obviously not no that, that wasn't funny it's not even close to that now the next mistake is using your second spirit pedal for the pedal belt and i made this mistake myself and this was a terrible idea because it takes so much longer to get your third spirit pedal if you get the pedal belt instead of the windy bee you need the windy bee for the english you need the windy bee before you get the pedal belt so what you should do is you should get the pedal wand with your first pedal right your spirit pedal which you can obtain a spirit pedal from going to spirit bear and completing i think 10 of her quests every 10 of uh this person up here spirit bear she is an old grandma and so you can complete 10 of her quests and she will give you one spirit pedal right and you can only get 30 quests so that's three spirit pedals so you do get your first one right you get your first spirit pedal 
use it on the petal wand, right? You get the petal wand with that first spirit petal. And now oftentimes, such as me being an idiot, people will get the petal belt with their second petal like thing, their petal spirit petal, right? That's an issue because instead of getting the petal belt with your first or no, sorry, second petal, what you should do with it instead is you should get the Windy Bee. And how do you get the Windy Bee exactly? You get the Windy Bee from the Wind Shrine right, right up here. So you get your Spirit Petal, you donate it to the Wind Shrine, you get like a bunch of rare items, and then you start donating them to the Wind Shrine, and it will up your chances of getting a Windy Bee. However, how to actually get it? It's not by random items, you have to donate Cloud Vials, specifically Cloud Vials. So Cloud Vial, let's see here, uh, let's keep scrolling. Rolling. Here we go. Cloud vials, right? You just, you have to donate 10 of these each time. You don't have to do 10, but it's best you do 10 at a time. Donate those 10 um, cloud vials, and each time you will have a chance at getting a Windy Bee with those cloud vials. But if you donate rare or decent items to the Wind Shrine, it will up your chances of getting a Windy Bee when you do donate some cloud vials. Now, the next mistake is purchasing the Spark Staff. Yes, I know, people actually do this, right? And why this isn't good is is because the Golden Rake is actually more effective, more efficient than its 40 million honey more brethren, the Spark Staff. The Gold Rake, that's 20 million, is actually better than the 60 million Spark Staff. Yes, I know, crazy. But it is actually a lot better in a lot of ways because it's more versatile and it collects more overall. If you want, guys, I can make a comparison video on the two. That's a good idea, actually. Might have to use that. Make a video on the Spark Staff versus Gold Rake saved into my uh, notepad, so that's- So yeah, it is a big mistake to spend 40 million on the spark stuff, right? You have the golden rake, you get 60 million honey, you spend 40 million extra that you don't need to on the spark stuff, why would you do that? No, save that extra 40 million, or well, really 60 million, and spend it on the porcelain dipper, because it's 150 million, and you will be 60 million closer, almost halfway closer to the porcelain dipper, using this 20 million golden rake, rather than spending 60 million and getting the spark stuff that is less effect, right? So Go with the Golden Rake, and then from the Golden Rake, just jump straight up to the Porcelain Dipper right here because it is better overall in the long run to just use the Golden Rake. And last but not least, the final mistake is early boosting. What I mean by early boosting is what people will do is they will have like, what, uh, 25 bees in their hive and they will use, let's say, this thing up here. You know, you use the field booster, right? You get yourself a boost, sunflower field boost, right? And what they will do is they will expend materials that they do not need to use. That's a warning. Do not use your materials to boost, just do it plain, right? Just do a plain boost like this, maybe micro converter, something like that, if it's a good boost. Um, but overall, in the early game stages, until you get to mid game, like upper mid game, I suggest you do not use materials while boosting unless it's a code boost. And if it is a code boost, why did you use the code? Save the code for later in the game. Like people will use, like people will expend extra materials that they do not need to use to do a small boost that won't get them very far. So I suggest you save your materials materials for later in the game and once you're later in the game then you can boost um because really early in the game it's really not as useful um to boost as it would be to save your items craft the gear and then get to mid game and then start boosting so don't boost too early don't expend extra materials save your materials do all that make sure you're being smart with what you do with your resources that is a very key thing to this game because in early game materials such as like let's say oil enzymes tropical drinks which you don't really get in early game but red extract blue extract glitter glue oil enzymes those are very 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 valuable in early game because it's very hard to get them so i suggest you don't boost you just grind with the field boost act that doesn't mean use glitter by the way that means just run around and uh use your field boosters instead of actually using glitter and using materials so yeah that is five mistakes that bee swarm players often make at the beginning of the game or upper mid game or mid game in general so i hope you all found this very helpful i hope it did because I don't want people making the same mistakes that I did or maybe other people did and uh, yeah I hope you all did enjoy this video do not forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all later good bye also be sure to check out the horror game videos I publish on my channel and I also play pet simulator x so if you want to watch those subscribe they're on my channel page